Morning. This morning I was going through uh, a kit that I had won last night at uh, our, you know, staff Christmas party. It was the uh, it was a roadside assistance kit. It came in this cool little black bag. So um, when I was looking at it this morning, I thought, uh, um, you know, it'd be kind of neat to to see what. Um, it's a promotional thing, you know, it's it's not something that you probably paid a lot of money for, but it's neat to see what somebody else would put into a kit. After I was looking at the kit, I realized how horrible it was. It was a really, really bad kit. Um, and so I thought to myself, you know what, if, if I just thrown this in the truck and I had uh, gone out and I got caught out in minus 20, which is what uh, we have out here right now in, in Alberta, then I would get stuck with a kit uh, that was pretty much useless to me. So I'm going to go over this kit with you uh, and then I'm going to put my own stuff into it. I'm going to show you then what I would have in my kit. Uh, so I would have something for the roadside assistance kit. So uh, we'll just start by uh, opening up that now. Okay, so the first thing that I, I, I got that I, um, that I found was this, was this flashlight, right? It's the uh, rubberized, you know, flashlight that you uh, and, you know, you buy it pretty cheap at uh, you know dollar stores or wherever. Um, it's got uh, you know the light bulb as opposed to the LEDs, and so uh, it takes these uh, these great big you know D cell batteries. So it's nice enough that they gave me the batteries as well. Um, so the first thing I thought was, well, I want to see how bright this flashlight is, right? So I tried to open it up, um, and I couldn't. I couldn't get it open. Um, so I was twisting and twisting and twisting, and then I could hear crunching. And as you can see, it twisted and it broke to pieces. So that's the flashlight. So the first piece of uh, kit that I take out is, is junk and useless. So there goes that. So I, I did get some, some flashlight batteries here. Uh, they're apparently heavy duty ones made in China. Um, so, uh, you know, like pretty much everything. So uh, I'm sure they won't last that long either. Um, the next thing I got was this, uh, this piece of plastic. Uh, I think they're supposed to be medical gloves. Uh, I don't want to open them up because I'm sure they'll be gone, but I think that's what they are. I think they're medical gloves, plastic medical gloves. Again, what, what use would those be? Um, this uh, call police sign that you can stick in your window. I, that's probably the most useful piece that I've found so far. Um, you know, you need help uh, and you need passerbys to see that you need help um, and you have this in your window and um, hopefully that will, uh, you know, get the police to come and, and help you out, uh, especially if you're on rural Alberta roads here. This next thing, uh, a vest, right? So a vest so that when you're working on your vehicle uh, with no tools, unless you bring your own, um, so you have this vest that will, um, make you more visible. The problem is there's no reflective strips on it. So really that doesn't do too much for you at night time. Last second somebody's going to see you which isn't you know all that good. A really junky rain poncho. It's basically a garbage bag uh, with a hood on it you know and uh, it's funny because they're you know they're indoors the picture you know they're they're indoors and the lady's all happy and she's smiling all so happily because she's not getting rained on. You know, because if she had to use this in the rain, she would not be smiling. She would be miserable, and she would probably hate her, her you know, friend who bought it for her. The next is um, two candles and some matches. So, you know, candles are definitely a, a good thing to have in your car, and especially in the wintertime, um, <clears throat> because, um, you know, um, they'll, they'll heat up the car just a little bit. Um, but generally what you would want would be, uh, would be three uh, full-size candles uh, in a can. Um, funny enough, I just happen to have a, a soup can here or a spaghetti sauce sand can. So three candles in this can, um, and that's going to keep you a lot warmer than these two little tea lights. But, you know, you're on the right idea here with having the tea lights. It's just too bad that you only had two of them. Um, next is you, you get some, some matches, which, which is nice. Um, it only has, you know, um, the uh, sandpaper uh, striker on one side. It's not on the other, so that's too bad. And if you can kind of look at it, you can see that it's already been, it looks like it's been used. It's been worn out just by riding in the package with the, uh, the other um, 
uh, stuff, it, it, it's getting worn down. So who knows how well those will bite up for you. A bungee cord, one bungee cord, um, which, you know, I, I don't know um, what you're going to do with one bungee cord. Maybe you can uh, put your trunk down or uh, lash something down with it, but uh, a one foot bungee cord. Um, some uh, some old style fuses, so those are nice. Uh, and then here's the first aid kit, okay? So you got a first aid kit inside, so that was nice, you know, if you were to read the packaging, oh, I've got a first aid kit. So let's take a look and see what, what they've put in their, their first aid kit. I always find these to be kind of funny, uh, being an EMR. Um, so first of all, these uh, crappy little scissors um, that they're not gonna do you too much good. Um, some safety pins, these are good. You know, they've got a lot of uses. You can obviously pin things together um, and um, you can use them if you are out in the middle of nowhere. You could actually use these to um, to make into to fishing hooks. So, I mean, they've got a few uses, so that, that's a you know good piece of kit. Um, the uh, alcohol swabs. So I think they've given me, uh, what have I got here? Two, four, six, eight, nine. Nine, that's a weird number. You know, nine alcohol swabs um, that had expired in, in 2010. So, I mean, they're probably not even damp with alcohol. They're probably those dry, you know, the moist towelettes that are always dry. You know, that's probably what you got there. Um, some band-aids. A whole bunch of these mini band-aids, which, um, if you have a cut this small, you probably can handle it without a band-aid. Uh, you know, unless you're shaving and want to stop the, the bleeding before you get to work or something. But, uh, you know, so you got some mini band-aids. I don't know, about 10 of those. Oh, there's some moist towelettes because, you know, you're going to need to wash your hands after you're done. So you get six of those. Well, that's, that's really handy. Um, oh, here we go. Some more antiseptic uh, towelettes here. So we got six of those. So those are handy. Um, too bad they expired in, in 2008, you know, so I don't know if you can see that there, probably not. Anyways, 2008, so bravo, you know, just got this kit. Oh, and then uh, here we go, the last little bit. We've got uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of these style band-aids, probably the uh, plastic band-aids, and then two of the really good you know, cloth band-aids. So really at the end of the day, you got some band-aids uh, and you got uh, some towelettes that have expired, so they're probably dry. Um, and um, and a pair of really junky scissors. Uh, that's your first aid kit. Uh, what are you gonna patch up with that? Not too much, really not much at all. So um, anyways, that was the kit that I got. And when I found that, I was, I couldn't believe that um, somebody would put this kit out and say that this was a roadside assistance kit. If anything, this was a roadside unassisted kit. You know, uh, you would probably do yourself more problems than good uh, with having this kit. So, um, I guess the point of this is that I, you know, I would hope that you would go out when you buy your kit, uh, take a good look at it before you put it in the back of your vehicle, uh, and. Uh, go over it well, know how to use everything that's in the kit, because there's no sense having a kit if you don't know how to use it.